Lesson number one, personal protective equipment. Anyone working on a construction site should be aware that it is a very dangerous occupation and you must prepare to defend yourself every moment of the day. To best defend yourself, you will need several pieces of equipment developed for the construction worker. Cleveland Construction requires you to wear certain equipment all day because threatening events are frequent and very random. Other equipment will be required on an as-needed basis. When you have completed this training section, you will understand the required and optional personal protective equipment, how to use and care for selected personal protective equipment, how to properly inspect your personal protective equipment. The following personal protective equipment is the minimum requirements to enter a Cleveland construction job site. Hard hat. Cleveland Construction will issue a hard hat to you before you begin work. The hard hat is to be worn at all times on the job site. Make sure you properly inspect for any cracks or damage before you begin work each day. You may have to adjust the headband for a good snug fit. The hard hat is to be worn with the largest part of the brim in the front and over your eyes. Safety glasses. On a construction site, there is always debris being propelled into the air by job site tools and activity. Safety glasses must be worn by all field personnel at all times, regardless of work activity. Standard safety glasses will be issued to all employees. However, if you purchase your own equipment, it must be approved for the intended task by your supervisor. There are various types of lenses intended for different work elements. Clear lenses are used for most work situations. Amber lenses are very useful in lower light work areas, and gray tinted sunglass style lenses are used for outdoor work in direct light. We will also provide safety glasses to be worn over prescription eyeglasses. Lens cleaning towelettes are available to keep safety glasses clear and reduce scratches. Proper clothing. All workers are required to be properly clothed for a Cleveland construction job site, which includes a shirt with at least a four inch sleeve, long pants, and hard soled shoes. A six inch high work boot is recommended because it helps to prevent ankle twists and sprains. Employees are also required to wear a safety vest or high visibility shirts or outerwear. Some tasks may also require long sleeves and or steel-toed shoes. Cut-off shirts, tank tops, muscle shirts, or tennis shoes are not permitted, along with loose clothing, baggy shirts, ripped, tattered, or dragging work pants. Other task-specific personal protective equipment you may need include hearing protection, respiratory protection, hand protection, face shields, and safety harness. Hearing protection. It is mandatory to wear hearing protection when you are near any such tools, equipment, or machinery that emit loud or shrill noises. Earplugs or earmuffs must be worn when using powder actuated or gas powered tools. Standard construction site rules state that if you are within two feet of someone and you need to shout to communicate, hearing protection is probably needed. Remember, if your ears are damaged by loud noises, they cannot be fully restored to their original efficiency. Respiratory protection. Although respiratory protection is not required by Cleveland Construction for the customary work we perform, we have established a voluntary respirator use policy. We will supply an N95 dust mask to any employee looking for an additional level of comfort and protection while working with fiberglass, fireproofing, sanding drywall, sweeping the floors or handling lead line drywall upon your request. All other requests for a respirator will be evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis. If you have any concerns regarding respiratory hazards, talk with your supervisor. Hand protection. Cleveland Construction supplies several types of gloves to defend against cuts 
and damage to your hands when handling materials or equipment. Gloves should be worn during cleaning operations, when working with fiberglass, lead line drywall, cutting metal studs, and as directed by your supervisor. When wearing gloves near moving parts, be mindful that they can get caught and pull your hand into danger. If you have any concerns on whether or not you should be using gloves while performing your work, talk to your supervisor. Face Shields A full face shield shall be worn in addition to safety glasses when working in an area with flying or floating debris, such as operating a chop saw, disaster saw, or grinder. In addition, an approved welding hood with a face shield must be worn during all welding operations. When working with spark producing activities, you are required to have a fire extinguisher in your immediate work area. Donning a harness. Occasionally, you will be required to wear a full body harness as part of the fall protection system. It is important to wear this equipment properly as improper use can result in serious physical harm. Before donning your harness, be sure to inspect for nicks, cuts, tears, frays, and any deformation of the metal components. If you suspect your harness of being deficient in any way, bring it to the attention of your supervisor. Remember to follow these steps when donning a harness. Step 1. Hold the harness by the D-ring. Shake the harness to allow all of the straps to fall in place. Step 2. If the chest, leg, and or waist straps are buckled, release the straps and unbuckle them at this time. Step 3. Slip the harness over your shoulders so the D-ring is located in the middle of your back between your shoulder blades. Step 4. Pull the leg strap between your legs and connect it to the opposite end. Repeat with the second leg strap. Step 5. Connect the chest strap and position it in the mid-chest area. Tighten it to keep your legs and shoulder straps taut. Step 6. After all straps have been connected, tighten all buckles so that your harness fits snug but allows for full range of movement. Finally, pass the excess strap through the loop keepers. Additional safety equipment used for fall protection, such as lanyards, lifelines, and others, will be reviewed in Lesson 3, Fall Protection. It's very important to thoroughly inspect all personal protection equipment daily, use it properly, and always wear your equipment when it is required. Let's do a quick review of this lesson. Remember that potentially dangerous situations exist on every job site and personal protective equipment is developed to protect you from serious workplace injuries. Cleveland Construction requires that hard hats and safety glasses are to be worn at all times on the job site. Under our voluntary respirator use program, we will provide an N95 dust mask for extra protection upon your request. Always remember to inspect your personal protective equipment before using, as it is your last line of defense. Think about the work to be performed to ensure you have the proper equipment to protect yourself.